Tara Jacobson, Marketing Art Fleet. So today we're going to be looking at um, how to make Pinterest pins for handmade sellers. And we're going to be using, um, this gal was very nice to let me use Orkita. I'm sorry if I'm massacring your name. Let me use her shop, which is Orkita's Creations. And we're going to be using this jean jacket. This jean jacket. Um, and it's a Frida jean jacket. So what we want to do is we want to make Pinterest pins that match the look of what Pinterest is showing, right? So here's Etsy denim jacket with artwork. So this is functionally a close-up. Now she has really cute little, um, like showing how she made it. We also have it on a white background, even if it's a person in it. We have lifestyle kind of on a person, right? We have um, kind of white background with white on it and then letters. We have multiples, so we have six up, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have definitely lifestyle, lifestyle, six up again. So we need some... And six up means there's six pieces, beep, 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 six up. Um, so we can't necessarily do six up, oh, three, uh, three across, that's interesting, with the front, the side, and the, and the back. Um, oh, here we go. We can do this one. So we have, you know, kind of the, the ooh, interesting, she has kind of the, the dress, it outlined, and then like a, and a matching pair of shoes. Okay, here's one. This is um, top and then three littles on the bottom. And here's here's side, side, side. So, so honestly, we have all kinds. Oh, and this is two up with the lady in the dress. So there are tons of things we can do. So what we're going to do is the very first one is we're just going to do a lifestyle one, right? So we're going to go to home to Canva. We're going to look for a Pinterest graphic. Remember I told you this is a two to three ratio. So it's two wide and three high. 700 and something by 1100 and something. It could be 600 by 900. It's just the ratio. And uh, since we're doing a, um, doing a, and I have to figure out where that stuff, where, where my things are. Here we go. Since we're doing a um, lifestyle one, we just need to put it on here, right? That's all we have to do. And luckily we had a lifestyle one. So excellent. We're going to do this. We see the person in the back. We're going to try to center it a little bit. So Frida's in the middle. And then we can adjust this. We can make it a little bit brighter. And don't worry if it gets a little bit more faded because we can always up the saturation a tiny bit. Now, this is very cool. And I always like to put the contrast up a little bit. I don't mess with the tint blur process or vignette because that kind of changes it. And don't forget, we're not selling this. When you're on your Etsy store and you're selling this item, you need to make sure that, that the um, colors are perfect, the things like that. But we're just trying to get interest in this feed like this Etsy seller did. Okay, so we're going to change the name of this, and we're going to name this Frida Lifestyle. You name them whatever you want. And we're not going to publish to Pinterest right now. Nope, I don't want to publish to Pinterest. I just want to download it, and I'm going to download it as a PNG. So this is the thing I want you to do. I want you to make at least three, if not five, different pins for your each product. Now, as a handmade seller, if she can make more than one of these, then I would make definitely five. If this is a one-of-a-kind item, then three would be fine, right? Okay, so that's going to be number one. That was our first one. Now, there's a site called PhotoFuse, and that's F-O-T-O, nope, that is not PhotoFuse. PhotoFuse. That will take the background, because we had white backgrounds too, right? So it's Photo, 
F-U-Z-E. So we're going to upload this, and I'm going to upload one of her pictures. I guess I would upload, let's upload the one we just did. And we're going to, and now you're supposed to highlight your item. So I want to just highlight this, highlight this. And it's growing up here automatically. I just want to highlight the white parts or the dark parts. And this may or may not come out well enough that we want to use it, but let's see what happens. Okay, so we want to get all of this down here. Okay, and then uh, check for errors. I think you could change it a little bit. Um, so the sensitivity was already low. Let's see what happens. And it takes a couple seconds for it to finish. Okay, so I feel like it did a pretty good job. We got some weirdness over here. Maybe I would upload it again and try to try to get rid of that weirdness. But if you can get a clean photo fuse, then you could just upload it and then do the white one, right? But we're going to do different ones for this product. We're going to do, oh, I like this one with the white. We're not going to do a white background because we have sort of a white background, but we're going to do white overlay with blue letters. So we're going to do this on a Pinterest graphic. This is functionally, what I would want to do is I would want to change the size of this a little bit at least because what um, Pinterest does is it matches pixels and if you change the size of it, then Pinterest is going to think it's a different picture. And so we're going to do this, kind of get a close-up, more of a close-up. I want Frida to be the star, though. Okay, and let's do that. Okay, that's really good. And then we're going to add a element. So we need a square. We need those square elements, right? Now, if it was me, I would want to do the colors of like maybe do blue on here or do whatever but we don't care what I want to do or what my brand colors are or anything like that we want it to look like this so we have three boxes straight up upper click case plain letters white so we're going to do that copy paste copy paste okay so we got three boxes we're going to get our little boxes and it will automatically snap them, but if they don't, you can hit shift and then say position, and you can say space evenly, horizontally, and vertically, and it'll automatically line them up. And now we need to make these white. So you're going to come up here, you're going to make them white. We got our white boxes, right? And so now we're going to say Frida Co. We're going to say text, and we definitely, I think we want a heading, and we need to make it plain font. Remember, it was plain font like that. That's not plain. That's not cute plain font, at least. We can at least have it be nice font. That's, I don't like that either. Very fussy. Oh, here we go. I'm going to like that. There we go. So we're going to put our Frida in here. And you can just nudge it around. So I got that, copy, paste. And I want to make sure, see it's centered, but I want to make sure it's left aligned because I'm going to want all these to line up, left aligned. Uh, jean jacket. And are these caps? Let's go look and see. Are they caps or are they, they're caps? So we need to do caps. R I D A. I don't know how to spell her name. So I want one space. A H L O. She's a very famous artist. 
A-H-L-O. Okay, we need to make this long enough. We don't want it to come down. There we go. We're going to copy this, copy, paste. And we're going to say jean jacket. And we're going to say handmade, copy, paste. Right? Okay. So there we go. Handmade. You could say upcycled. You know, we would have done the research to find out what the best words are, but we're just going to get that even, and then we're going to pull our, okay, we want to make these aligned, right? So position, left aligned. So we want all those lined up. Now we got to get Frida's name in here. And then jean jacket. Perfect. Okay, and that is very similar to this one, right? Except it would maybe have a white background, but I can live with that. So now we're going to say Frida White, let's see, blue. Oh, the words are supposed to be blue. No, black. Frida Black Words. Okay, wonderful. And I'm going to say download, download. Okay, and it's going to come up and it's going to say, do you want to try Canva Pro for free? We don't really need Canva Pro because what they're, what that's good for is if you have a strong brand and you're going to do your brand colors, you have a team and everybody's going to be working on it together. You're going to be sharing templates. You're going to be doing all those kinds of things. We're just making pins, so we don't need to do that. You don't have to worry about it. We can use the free version of Canva. And what will happen is when you go home, you'll see that these designs are here. And they'll they'll come up here in a minute. But the last one we want to make, because we want to make five, right? So I want to show you how to make more than just kind of the two we did. So you could do six up if you had six pictures. But I don't feel like we have six pictures. We have three pictures. I'm going to do three pictures. We could do that. So let's look for something that is, we're going to go to Canva. We're going to say create our own design, custom dimensions, and we're going to say make it 750 by 1500, which is twice as wide as it is tall. And we're going to say create new design. Okay, is that kind of the shape it is? It's kind of the shape it is. So we're going to say, where's our uploads? We have um, this that we're going to put at the top. Boop. Oh, I'm in the way. Sorry about that. All right. So we have this we're going to put at the top. And then we want three down here. And we need some bars. Okay. So now we're going to have to upload some more pictures. I wind up with lots of canvas open. All right, so I do have a couple more here. I'm going to upload an image. I'm going to upload an image. And then can we do, do we have another one? I think we could, right? Oh, we have this tall one that we didn't do with more legs. Save image as. So you can do this for all your old ones. Frida, four. Okay, four. Now, would I do this for items, you know, if I was a handmade seller and I was selling a lot of $10 items, I would absolutely do it. But if I was a handmade, I, if I have to pick which ones I'm going to do first, I'm going to do my highest price items first, obviously. Um, okay, so we have this. We have to upload that last image because we want them to be a little bit different, right? Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so we're going to start to pull these in. Nope, we want to pull it kind of down here, right? Did it come in? There we go. Now watch this, because we can we can change this. We want this to be a lot smaller, right? Doo, doo, doo. What's happening? Oh, it went into that picture. Okay, so we're just going to delete this totally. And we're going to try it this way. We're going to add, got it, thanks. We're going to add... Okay, do a... Okay. All right, here we go. 
All right, we're going to come over here to elements. We're going to grab this one, and we're going to put this right here, and then we're going to do this, okay? So this elements gives us those three across pictures, right? Now we're going to go back to our uploads. We're going to get our tall one, and I, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to have to move them around, right? And see, I worry that that's too samey samey, and that's fine. I think that looks fine. Let's see. Still in the way. And I can't really move you up. Okay, I'm going to move you down for a second. Ooh, see, it looks really nice. Okay, and I'm going to lighten this picture. This is the only picture that I feel like I really need to adjust a little bit. Maybe this one, because it's our main picture. Okay, good. So, that's really snazzy. So that gives us that look. And now we need to see what we need. So we need free shipping. If you're offering free shipping, um, let's do it. So you're going to say, we need a box. Just need a box. I don't need grids. So click that out of there. I need a box. Our little skinny box and that says free shipping white and it's italic so we need our box to be white let's move it up here now we need a little bit of words and let's do a subheading free shipping and we can make it bigger right Boop. We can make it longer. We can make it left justified. Left justified is always easier to work with. And then we come over here. Oh, we have to make it italic. So we can't make this one italic, plus it's too fancy. We need plain. So that's perfect. And now we can make it italic. And now we can pull this over. And then what did the bottom box look like? It was black with plain, but upright. So now we're gonna say we need a box. Box. And we need it to be black. And then we need text, and we need about the same size. And we're gonna say upcycled. Frida, I don't know how to spell Frida, F-R-I-E-D-A, no, F-R-I-D-A, no, E. Frida Jacket. Okay, and now we need to make it white because our thing is, and if, and if you couldn't, if you scoot, scooted, scooched it down there and you couldn't see it, um, you may have it on a, on a further layer back, in which case you would um, go to position, and then you could say move it backward, move it forward, whatever. Okay, so we need to find out what font this was. This was ABZ. So we're going to do that ABZ planar. We want it bold. We want it bigger. Okay. We need it to go across. Oh, perfect. Okay, now we're going to put that right in there. We're going to make our black box. we got to get our black box. There's our black box. There it is. Okay, we need it to go all the way over. Now, I kind of feel like we're cutting off, like there's more of a value to have the top of that jacket, maybe even like that then there would be to have it, the black box placed exactly where it is, where it's kind of over the bottom ones. So we're not going to do that. We're going to move this up. Shipping is spelled wrong for all you guys screaming at me that shipping is spelled wrong. I will fix it. Shipping. Okay, perfect. And then this is going to be our Frida uh, Multi. You know, you name it whatever you want. And then we're going to say publish, and we're going to download this. 
download. Perfect, right? This is great. This is exactly what we need. And now we're going to go look. And so now we have this one. We would have the white background. We have this one. We can make as many as we want. Oh, here's the handmade Frida with the white words. And so, like I said, if you can make multiples of them, I would have five. If you can only make, if it's a one of a kind, maybe three. And we'll talk about how to post them later. But honestly, that could feel like that was a lot of work, right? Like you did, it took us 20 minutes to make three pins. And you may be thinking, oh my gosh, you know, this is going to be a full-time job. But wait, there's more. Okay. So now let me go to my home page. And we're going to hit refresh and these other two designs will come up in a second but what happens is you already have this and say you wanted to do another one you could just delete this picture go on over to upload pick a different picture say you wanted to do this one and you could pick that picture remember we said if it's kind of feels like it's hiding the words you'd say position to back if you wanted to do it with an entirely different product, you could upload a different product. Scooch that in there. Delete. Now, this is my vintage stuff, but if you had a different handmade product, you could slip that in there, position, back, and you would be all ready to go. So you're going to have templates. Once you make these one time, you're going to be all ready to go for the rest of time. Now, if you like this video, there's a, um, I have a linked video below that has the how to figure out which kinds of pins you want to make. Also, if you like this video, we're doing a whole bunch of Pinterest for Etsy sellers, handmade Etsy sellers. And so make sure to thumbs up if you liked it and also to subscribe so you get to see the rest of the videos. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.